Hi and welcome again to another edition of Trending Stories on yen.com.gh with me, Philip Abutiati. In this edition, we find out the latest in relation to the KNUST Buhaha, as well as details on Stone Boy's much talked about a shaman to the world concept. But before that, please do well to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And to our very first story. It appears the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology is still making headlines on most news portals as stakeholders are still attempting to find a lasting solution to their school's challenges. The latest information is that embattled Vice Chancellor Professor Aubrey Nansu is to step aside. He has thus been asked to hand over to the poor Vice Chancellor Professor Mrs. Rita Akosia Dixon. If you as may recall, an initial seven member interim committee was tasked to manage the school after it was shut down indefinitely on Tuesday following violent student protest. This decision, however, did not go down well for members of the Teachers and Educational Workers Union of Ghana, Tewo, and lecturers of the school as they have hit the streets to protest the government's dissolution of the school's governing council. A move that has been backed by the University Teachers Association of Ghana, UTAG. UTAG has also directed its branches across the country to meet with all members to decide their next line of action. It is unclear what the outcome of their meetings would be, but many are expecting that they will join their KNUSD colleagues to withdraw their services in solidarity with the argument that academic freedom is under threat. Members of the Teachers' Union say they do not recognize the Interim Management Committee, IMC, the government has put in place to man the affairs of the school for three months. Meanwhile, the National Council for Tertiary Education, NTCE, has also reportedly asked Vice Chancellor Professor Aubrey Danso to step aside. Share your thoughts on this developing story with us in the comment section below. But let's do some entertainment now, as Stone Boy has successfully hosted his much anticipated concert, Dab A Shaman to the World. The concert, which was held at Sakasaka Park in Ashaman, attracted scores of fans to cheer and throw support for their musical icon. Now, prior to the event, many of the Brim Nation fans had vowed on social media to prove a point to their rivals. This vow was largely due to Shatawali's success as he filled the Fantasy Dome recently during the launch of his Rain album. Aside the huge number of Brim natives who had come to support their emperor, the concert also saw a number of Ghanaian musicians, including Samini, Kofi Kinata, Yapono, Kwaokese, as well as Ghana's fastest rapper, Sakodie. You can visit our YouTube channel to catch a glimpse of some of the performances of the day. And for more regular updates such as this, remember to subscribe to our channel. And these have been the trending stories on yen.com.gh. With me, Philip Abutiati. Do enjoy the rest of your day.